Hey everyone, Dr. Child in NC here. Just thought I'd bring you back for the project that I've been telling you about and been planning on. I'm going to take my sheath, sheath and, and carrier combination, and my trooper, my trooper hatchet with the extended hammer, hammer pole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a mask instead of the, the full sheath. Um, got some bank line to finish it up with. So that way we can tie the mask on when we're done. And I've also got my lock stitcher. And along with that, I've got my Leatherman. And my Leatherman has a very sharp straight edge knife for cutting the, the leather with. What I've already done is I've separated the back of it. You can see where my stitching used to be. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut right about here, about three quarters of the way here. I'm just going to cut it straight across. And what that'll do, I'll end up sitting about like that. Because what I'm going to do is here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what used to be the belt loop, straighten that back out, cut a piece off of that, and put it in here so I can have a weld. That's the whole reason of not the whole reason, but one of the reasons I'm doing this is I need to put a welt in here to protect the stitching. Because I've already had to restitch this several times. Well, without further ado, here we go. Obviously, the first thing I'm doing is cutting the belt loop off. Uh, had to do a cut, had a slight camera malfunction. Uh, anyways, I did a little bit of work while I was gone. What I did is I took that strap took the back strap, cut a piece off of it to, so I had a nice straight line. And then I cut this piece off, which I'm going to use for the weld. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it right in here. Obviously, I'll cut this little tab off and then I'll start sewing it back into place. Start at this end and sew down and across. And that'll give me mask for my hatchet which will end up sitting just like that it's in there against the welt and the reason for the welt the reason for the welt is that way the uh, the edge of the hatchet hits the welt instead of the stitching um, I just threw it together too quick last time and didn't put a welt in it and that that was the main problem is I bumped the handle of the hatchet and it cut right through the stitching but that's about what it's going to look like when it's done so what do you say we get started on doing some stitching well we'll cut it first no i take that back i'm just going to stitch it a little off both ends stitch it down and then I'll clean it up when I'm done now, just about out of stitching just about out of stitching thread I'm bringing in 
pull the stitch out. Pulling the thread through. So I've got that way I've got enough thread for my locks all the way down. One of the reasons why I put the cardboard down was one of the reasons I put the cardboard down was so when we're doing this I can go through it. And pull back a little bit, get a loop, bring it through. Lock the stitch down. Come to the next one. Do the same thing again. Alright guys, you see how the stitching goes, I mean, it's nothing fancy, nothing outrageous, $25 tool from Candy Leather, they make, they make replacement spools, so you can when this one runs out, I can just go and get another one. You can also get the thread in white. You can also get like artificial sinew. The um, I guess they call it a natural color. It's kind of a tannish color. But anyways, give me just a minute. I'm gonna back the camera out and keep on going. Alright guys, it's actually going quicker because of the fact that it, I'm using, I'm going through the same holes I already used, so it's going a little bit quicker, I'm going to stitch it down, when I get back down here to this end, I'll bring it back in, show you what we got, finish it off. Okay guys, here we are, uh, pretty well finished up, see I got my stitching all the way down, I'll come back up here, what I did is I caught caught some of the end of it in that last stitch and then I went down another stitch hole so I'm going to come and grab hold of this one and I'm going to do a slightly different here I'm going to wrap twice through that loop instead of just once like I normally would I'm going to withdraw that, pull this tight, and 
pull that stitch tight. I'm going to do one more stitch. And all I'm doing is going back through the same holes I had there before. I'm going to do the same thing one more time. It creates a little loop at the bottom. So I'm going to try and run that through that loop at the bottom. And get and pull the whole thing tight. When you're pulling, notice I'm pulling in a straight line off that needle, so that way you don't bend your needle or break it. Pull a little more out. I'm going to close my leg a minute at the moment. I'm going to cut a bit off. Because what I'm going to do, put that aside so I don't... Don't hurt myself with that. I'm going to take and throw a knot here on it. Uh, I was using this piece. You might be able to see the several holes I've got in there. I just use that for a piece to, to push my stitch all through with. But all I'm going to do here is just throw a simple overhand. Throw one one way, then come back and switch it over. So it roughly affects a roughly affects a square knot. And as you saw, just trim them off. Now, I got the two pieces hanging out here on the end. I'm going to take my knife and trim those off. And in terms of a bit nicer because it, it's in there tighter. There. All right, here we are. Now I've got my mask finished. Sit down there. Right, like there. You can see it's up against the. Top what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of bank line, but basically what, what it's going to be set up to do, I'm going to make it so it loops around the up under the pole, comes up here, comes from the inside out through a hole I'm going to put on this, both sides, and then make it long enough to wrap around the front so I can just do like a simple bow tie at the front. So I'm just going to do a rough guesstimate here. That should be, that should be fairly good.
I'm gonna make it a little bit longer actually guys because you know what if I got a little bit extra who cares all right pretty well good there so I'm gonna grab it right here in the middle or what was effectively the the underneath of the pole all I did double it over pull it back take and cut it this is nothing more than Card bank line number 36 bank line. This actually should be done with an awl, but I don't have an awl. So because of the fact that I don't have an awl, I'm gonna just use the tip of my knife. I'm gonna come up right about here. Trying to make it relatively, relatively small hole, so it has a bit of friction fit to it. Also, there we go. Got it running through there. And the thing is, you take it like this. Kind of got a twist to my line there so we're take and pull it back here come in this way and the reason you come in this way is you separate that line as you pull it in and I put it in there completely backwards <laughs> same theory though pull it up here just like that Make your separation, pull it in like this, up, set it in, pull it over, pull it up like that, take a tension it, come down here. Been tying all these fancy knots so long I can't get a bow tied. You just put a bow on it. Keeps it in place. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your subscriptions, give it a thumbs up if you like it, I'll see y'all in the next one.